enforcement action, evidence, or other legal proceedings. So they're just kind of putting this notice out there and saying, oh, but we're going to leave it up to cops to, to, to verify this information for themselves. It's almost, it's almost like a disclaimer, like they're not really profiling us, but we all know exactly what this is. Yeah. Well, yeah, cops are too fucking stupid to read that part. Or if they, did, that, if they did read it, they don't have time to fucking check into it. They go cops, are, to, to the word for it. cops are too fucking stupid to read two lines of the Criminal Code of Canada and understand it properly, right? They don't rely on any of that kind of bullshit, so... No. It's like the, uh, the one of the last times I was arrested when I was being held in custody, I told the cop... They, were, they kept trying to read through the Criminal Code to find something that I was violating to show me that I'm obligated to obey anything in there. I said, okay, I'll tell you what, guys. I said, I'm going to give you one definition in your own book to read. And if you can explain that to me, I will plead guilty to every charge you come up with today. And like, okay, oh, 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 you know, whatever, that kind of thing. I said, okay, open it up to the definition section, section two, and I want you to read me the definition of highway. And so they open it up, and sure as fuck right in there, it says the public, uh, the, the, the highways and the, and the roads that the public has the right to access. So as soon as he read that, he sat back in his chair, and I said, you've never read that, have you? And he wouldn't look at me, and I said, does, does that say I have the privilege of being on the roads with one of your licenses, or does that say I have a right? Oh. He said, well, and he said, well, clearly, clearly we have the right to, to, to regulate that right. I said, <laughs> D- does that even make fucking sense? I said, if you can regulate it, it's not a right. It doesn't say privilege there. It says right, my friend. And so he just sat back in his chair and put his hand on his mouth like he's confused now. Like, this guy actually might have had a bit of an awakening that day. Yeah. But, but this, this RCMP notice right here just says that for some, we're under the misunderstanding that we have the right to access the roads when it says that in the Criminal Code of Canada. So which, which one is it? You know, these people are so fucking stupid and arrogant that it just blows your mind. I don't hate them. I, feel, I pity them. I feel sorry for such stupid motherfuckers. You know what? I have to. I have to uh, say something to that because um, someone said to me uh, yesterday. Actually, it was I got this. I got a bunch of nasty messages yesterday from people that are opposing me on this whole everything that I stand for kind of type thing. Yep. And it was uh, Carrie. You are spewing hate to people that don't <laughs> think like you. And I said, when have, if you've listened to any of my shows. Or anything, please tell me when it was that I ever said that I hated any of you. You want to shove McDonald's down your throat? Then by all means, go ahead. I feel sorry for your body. That's yep. what I feel. You want to turn around and you want to be a slave to absolutely everything? I know I'm still a slave, but I'm trying my damnedest to break free, and I'm going to take as many people with me as I go. And if that's an issue, well, then you best deal with it. But do not turn it around to make it sound like I hate you. Because that's not what it's about. I feel for you. I'm trying to help you. If you don't want to help yourself, well, then you're fucked. There you go. Well, yeah. he, this is humorous where they say that we can present risks to officer safety. And then they're also trying to say, like, uh, like, like uh, we, we actually, like, uh, we're trying to send this message out there that we should, we should be using force to protect our property and everything. Anybody that's watched the videos has seen that I, how many times do I say the word do no harm in my videos? Yeah. Do no harm. Be peaceful. Be honorable. And do no harm. And actually obey the rule of law. Because that is paramount. So we're actually we're teaching the opposite of what these people are trying to convey in this message, this bulletin. Well, of yeah, course. You know because it's the only way that they can turn around and make you look like an idiot. And that's uh, the whole point. Yeah. Like what they May- don't see is they're making themselves look stupid. Yeah. Go ahead, Derek. Yeah, well, well now, now uh, I forgot what I was going to say there. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right there. We can all talk, <laughs> eh? It's I have, like, a memory things. span of a fish sometimes. It's, it's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, I was, like, on fire, and the, the second someone cuts in or whatever, <laughs> shit's gone. See if that's why, that that's why I drew, it, like, when I, that's why I talk about the, uh, some of the presentations, and I said, look, man, I'm sure you guys got questions, but save it for the end. Because if you interrupt me, I don't know what the hell I'll be talking about. Yeah, well, see, and that's I... the thing with this kind of call is that, that we're all kind of jumping in, and, and uh, I'll try my best to give us all yeah. terms. Gary Lee, uh, like terms Gary Lee you, got your, yes, you, you, you got your talking points written down. Now, what, what I would like to, if you don't mind, I would like to interject that actually, yes, if you uh, have not created an injury to an individual or damage your property, there is no crime. Exactly. So, so, so when Dean says 
do no harm that when you don't create an injury you're not doing any harm and that's how, that's the basis of, of being a sovereign and acting in honor you know they have a saying for that in court anyone know what it is yeah um, they have a couple it, 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 maybe maybe it's a legal maxim it says uh, to whom that is willingly ignorant let him be is that is, is that what it is? Ignorance of the law is no... I would say no standing is given to one who has not been injured. No, corpus delecti. It's a meaning injury and criminal. If there is no criminal or injury, there is no corpus delecti. No corpus delecti, no case yeah, well, to stand well, on. Well, corpus is body and delecti is evidence. You have to have evidence, body of evidence, in yep. order to kill yeah. somebody. But that, but that could be a fabrication too. So that's why they always, that's why in true crimes they always look for the body and the evidence, which most of the time is the weapon, body and weapon. Yep. Yep. But with criminal, when there's no injured party, uh, what they're trying to uh, come at you at is contract law. Because obviously, exactly. if there's no injury, then it's a contract. They, if it's they, a contract, uh, where's uh, the contract? I, I, yeah. I, when I, they you, do a contract, they can bypass anything because they. They can do whatever the fuck they feel like it, you know? Contract uh, law is supreme in commerce. Yeah. Uh, under the UCC, uh, all all action is criminal. Everything is criminal. And it's just a matter of uh, scheduling the uh, the degree in which it is criminal. Yeah, I could go with that. All crimes are commercial. Exactly. UCC 611, I think. UCC 6 6 Six dash something. It's somewhere in there. Make yeah. a very brief reference or intro. See, th this is the this is the problem with uh, when a lot of people started studying a lot of the UCC and the commercial redemption stuff, and people started wanting to talk in UCC language and everything. Um, that's the point where this stuff gets so complicated that the common man, the average man, and even more intelligent than normal people really have trouble with a lot of this stuff. And that tells me that it's not something we should be dabbling in learning or even care about at that point we should just be just completely bowing out of this system altogether and letting it die and go its own way yeah i, I, completely I agree. agree i agree with uh with what uh, dean said there because you know what like i deal with all a whole bunch of shit and i deal with a lot of the acts and yeah sure i get some some uh, successes in taking care of commercial shit but you know what i fucking wasted a year and a half on this bullshit like oh, i'm on 10 years Oh yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's, it, it is a waste of time, but it was a path because now I know who I am, right? Yeah. And now that I know who I am, I know just enough to say I don't want to do, I, I don't want to be a part of this. This is fucked. I'd rather just go do my own thing. I'd rather just have a, a piece of land and go fucking have a garden. Yeah, that like, that's what I want to do, and that's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get my uh, land patent, that's, yep. that's what the fuck I'll be doing. Yeah, I think there's a point when when you finally learn enough about this, you learn enough to know you shouldn't be doing it at all. That's when you put the Monopoly board away and say, fuck this, I got a life. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like that, uh, it's that saying, well, not saying, it's just the idea that once you know something's not good for you, you're an idiot if you keep doing it. There you go. And the definition of crazy. Continually doing something, expecting a different result. <laughs> Well, exactly. exactly. This is obviously not working. But is what Einstein said. Einstein, uh, actually, I think Einstein's definition is better than what they got in the books. Hey, man, fuck, if Star Trek used it, shit, it's got to be true. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I think they learned so much shit from Star Trek, it's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, it's true. Well, they like to hide stuff in movies and TV shows, so. Yeah, they do. Indeed. Indeed. Awesome. So now, let us know how cl how close are you now, Derek, to the whole uh, land deed stuff? Well, I'm supposed to be getting it sometime next week or early the week after. Um, I'm gonna want to report on that right away because uh, I've been getting okay. My best friend and I, she works for a lawyer in the states. She's a legal aid. I love her to pieces. I do, but she has no clue what she's talking about, and I don't know enough of what what I'm talking about to counter it. So. I tried, it's okay, well here, you have to watch these things, and then why don't we work together to figure this out, but she's got that block up, and uh, you know, you're going to end up going to jail for tax evasion, and I'm like, not if I take the right steps, if I do everything 
the right way. And I'm not just going to stop paying taxes. I'm going to issue my letters and do what I'm supposed to do and, and take the right path instead of um, just, you know, I don't want to make a big deal about it. I want to do it in steps that need to be done so that I don't have to worry about the other stuff that comes with it, hopefully. Now, I could be deluding myself and I might end up in jail anyway, but I'm going to try. Well, then I had my mother-in-law. My, my daughter's 10 and she listens to a bunch of this stuff because I want her raised with the idea that we are not what they make us. And she told my mother-in-law, well, mom and dad are going to stop paying taxes. And my mother-in-law said, well, then you're going to lose the house and your parents are going to end up in jail. And totally just shoved fear down her throat. <laughs> so stuff like that, you know, like stuff like this is what I'm dealing with in my normal daily life now. And I don't, uh, I mean, I don't know how to get through to people because I said, well, why don't you take the time out to watch this with me? Well, who has the time to do that? No, but you have time to sit there and watch a movie for three hours. Thank you. Or you, you. have time to watch TV for four hours. Or you have time to go shopping for crap you don't need. How can you tell me that you don't have the time? Turn well, I off for the TV. Yeah, and then she says things like, well, you know, I work for lawyers, and why don't they n know any of this? And I'm like, well, okay, let's just scratch our heads for a second. And they're millionaires, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a millionaire working for them? No. Were you not pissed off because your boss wasn't around because he was too busy watching a, a skating rink being put into his basement? Yeah. Why would you think that they would work to help us? Oh, that's just conspiracy shit, Carrie. Okay. All right. What makes Don't you think they're paying taxes if they got enough money to put a hockey rink in their basement? Seriously, though. Who has a hockey rink in their basement? Lawyers that understand the system and know that this is all commerce, that's who. Yeah, exactly. And if you're not a lawyer, if you're not a member of the, the, the secret handshake club, well, you're supposed to be kept a slave, right? That's why lawyers have the status of Esquire in England. So, it's not for us, we're the slaves. Yeah, exactly. It has nothing to do with us. But people don't seem to want to listen to any of that because what they're fed that keeps them down is apparently more palatable. Well, the reason why that they don't want to listen to it is because when, they, when they're exposed to the truth, it forces them to get off the lazy ass and do something because they don't like it. That's why they don't like to be exposed to the truth because they like to be lazy. Yep. That's what I think. I think this is. I think when you when you try to wake people up too, I think it's an attack on their entire social construct of what the world is. Yeah, it and is. You, you, and you have to get people out of that comfort zone to make them realize this, and they just go, "Whoa, no, no, this this is this completely doesn't jive with what I believe about the world." So I'm gonna have to start thinking, and I, I'm gonna feel unstable in life. And people don't like that, right? They just want their they just want their hockey game or their football game, and they want their, their beer and their TV when they get home at the end of the day. And so they're yeah, telling us sure. that we should shut the fuck up so they can continue to enjoy life the way that they're accustomed to it. Now, just yeah, uh, you know what? Have... Look, at this, look, look at the state of the world it is, and because of that, exactly. it's so fucked up because people are too apathetic to do anything. Very yep. much so. And then they now, blame just us. Just to reiterate, um, we're listening to freethinkradio.com. This is Lifting the Veil with Carrie Lee, and we're live with Dean Clifford and Derek Hill. Sorry to interrupt you, boys. No, it's all good. Well, i got to tell you, I'm particularly impressed. I actually missed the part of this, this, this bulletin here where it actually had free Manitoba right on there. I completely said it. So, shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, too, when I was reading it at the beginning. And um, for those that are listening to Restream... We didn't start recording until 20 minutes in. I really do apologize, so I'm going to ask that we do go over that a little bit more, maybe towards the end of the show, just to recap yeah, on well, the RCMP. Boy, if, if I go missing, we all know why now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, just to go back to the point of um, people waking up, honestly, when I woke up, I was paralyzed for a couple weeks. I mean, yeah, literally. Yeah. Isn't that a I nice, frog, easy feeling? Yeah. You know, and it was like, I said, I, I used to describe it as, okay, when I was waking up, it was like I'd wake up, and then I'd nod back off, and then I'd wake up, and I'd nod back off, and then I woke up and had a cup of coffee and was kind of walking through, finally. But it was, de it was debilitating. 
to understand that your entire world is just crashed down around you and none of what you thought was real is real. I can honestly say that for some people, I can imagine that I like literally I was broken for two weeks. You know, 